Knowing how much feed cattle leave behind in their feed bunks is critical to improving a feedlot's efficiency, carcass weights and preventing digestive disorders in cattle. A new Meat and Livestock Australia project funded by Grainfed Levies is investigating automation of feed bunk management and has seen the development of a prototype sensor system to determine feed remaining in bunks. Automation and robotics solutions company Menobotics has developed the prototype which has been undergoing in-field trials at Morton Co's Grassdale feedlot. Key objectives of the project that MLA have kindly funded are to deliver a vehicle mounted prototype system to automatically bunk call. Call the amount of material remaining in the bunks in a feed yard. We've also been required to assess the precision and accuracy of the uh, of the prototype system uh, and that's across multiple diets uh, and we're also being required to assess the precision accuracy of the human callers for those diets. The prototype uh, is a vehicle mounted system uh, its primary sensing element is a machine vision solution uh, based on LiDAR technology. Uh, we have onboard positioning solution so we know uh, very, very accurately uh, where the vehicle is in a world coordinate system and we also have an onboard attitude solution so we can uh, account for any vehicle roll and rock and any other dynamic events to help improve the quality of the signal. We have an onboard uh, computer which, uh, which takes in all that information, uh, it, it predicts how much feed is remaining and then it publishes the result. In a world first, the project aims to determine both the precision and accuracy of humans to estimate feed remaining in feed bunks compared to the prototype vehicle mounted sensor system. Testing so far has shown promising results. The accuracy of the system is uh, better than 5% uh, and that's for the masses from uh, slick bunks all the way up to about a tonne of uh, feed. Meat and Livestock Australia will publish the results of the project in March 2018 with the commercial technology available for feedlot adoption by mid-2018. Future research and development will explore using information from the bunk scanner to develop algorithms to feed cattle.